Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Catherine and this is my June TBR. So to determine my TBR, I use a TBR game that I created. It's called a TBR Circus and every month I play it to see what books I have to read in a month. There are a bunch of rules and I explained all of the rules in my January's TBR. So I'm going to leave it down below so you can go check it out if you're interested in seeing all of the rules. But basically each color square corresponds to a certain genre and then blue is blank which means I can use whichever genre I want and then once I reach finish I can read and choose whichever book I want and I don't need to uh, draw a challenge card and so there are a lot of uh, different squares so you can go check out January's TBR and see uh, how it's played basically it's very simple if I roll a double I need to do another roll and if I step three times on the same colored square I have to do an extra roll as well so let's see how I did in May and then we will get into the rolls so it's now May 17th and I have read all of the books I was supposed to read except for Diary of a Wimpy Kid which was to read a book by an author with the same initials as yours I wanted to borrow this book from the library and I'm still on the waiting list and if I can't get my hands around to it uh, until the end of May I'll have to read it in June it's not a big deal it's a short and easy quick read and I can read it in a day so I don't need to punish myself this month so now let's go to rule number one and see what I have to read in June last month we finished on middle grade so first roll for this month is 11. new adult or adult and the challenge is new release Roll number one was new adult or adult contemporary and the challenge was new release and for this one I'm choosing Sweet Hand by Angie Peltier and I don't know much about this book. All I know is that our main character's sister is getting married and the man of honor is a guy whom our main character hates. So now they are forced to spend time together and I think it's hate to love romance, which I absolutely adore. So I'm very excited to read this one in June. Roll number two is nine. Blue blank and the challenge is set during summer roll number two was blue blank and the challenge was set during summer and for this one i'm choosing the unhoneymooners by christina lauren i read one of christina lauren's other books last year it was in a holidays and i really really enjoyed it so i thought i would explore more of their writing and basically this is a book about weddings again so all of the guests including fiancés they get food poisoning in the wedding so they can't go on their honeymoon so they end up gifting their honeymoon trip uh, to uh, our two main characters and it's set in Hawaii which is a pretty tropical destination so even if it's not set during summer months I'm pretty sure it's still hot in there. Roll number three is eight. young adult contemporary or romance and the challenge is name in the title roll number three was pink ya contemporary or romance and the challenge couldn't be better it was name in the title and for this one i'm choosing zara hussein is here by sabina khan this is a book about pakistani immigrant who moves to texas because of her dad's work and now she's dealing with Islamophobia and all kinds of stuff at school and it's basically her story and this actually worked really really great because buzzword theme for June is name or title in the title which means like princess or majesty or whatever and this has our character our main character's name in the title which works just perfectly so now let's go to roll number four 
Rule number four is eight. Read new adult or adult contemporary and the challenge is a book published before 2015. Rule number four was another red, which means we are close to getting another extra roll but anyway the challenge was book published before 2015 and this was a little bit challenging i didn't have any books on my tbr that were new adult or adult contemporaries that were published before 2015 i tend to read newer books these days but i decided to reread ugly love by colleen hoover this time i've been wanting to reread this for a while this is actually the first book by Colleen Hoover I have ever read and I just want to go back and revisit the characters. It's a story about friends with benefits and then it kind of gets into real relationships. So I'm very, very excited. I love this book so much. So I will be listening to it this time. And hopefully our last role, role number five. is a double two. Why a romance or contemporary? And the challenge is a book on TBR since 2015. Roll number five was not our last roll. I rolled a double two and I think this is where I jinx it and this is where things start to get bad. You will see what I mean later. But basically, I got Pink, YA Contemporary or Romance, and the challenge is books, uh, book on your TBR since 2015. And the only one that I really want to read from that category is Beauty Queens by Libba Bray. I started this a while ago, but I couldn't get into it, so now I'm giving it a second chance. And this is basically a book about 50 beauty contestants who thought they are going on a trip of their lifetime, but basically they end up in an airplane crash and they end up on a deserted island and that's all i know and i'm excited so now let's go to role number six okay let's hope this is our final role role number six is a double four this game hates me this month so it's eight It's another pink, which means we are now up to eight rolls, which is not really great. But the challenge is a book with five plus words in the title. Roll number six. Yeah, this is where things start to get really bad because not only I rolled another double, I also stepped on pink. For the third time this game which now brings us to eight rolls and the challenge is five plus words in the title and for this one i am choosing 10 things i hate about pinky by sandia manon this is the third book in when dimple met rishi trilogy and i absolutely loved the first two so i'm really excited to read uh, pinky's and samir's story these are books about Indian teens and they are very compelling and very interesting and this is another hate to love romance so I'm very very excited. Role number seven is a double five. What is wrong with this game? is blue blank and the challenge is four plus colors on the cover guys the circus hates me this month it's crazy i got another double which brings us to nine rolls now but basically i stepped on blue blank and the challenge was four plus colors on the cover and i'm choosing by your side by casey west this time it clearly has a lot more than four colors and this is a reread for me i have read it two times now i think this is my favorite book by casey west this is about two characters who are stuck in the library over a winter storm weekend and this book is just amazing you should read it 
it's just absolutely great and you will fly through it roll number eight is seven Roll number eight brought us to the end of the game, which means I can choose whichever book I want. And for this one, I'm choosing Don't Read the Comments by Eric Smith. I don't know anything about this book, except that it might be about a social media influencer and it's a love story. And I don't want to know a lot about going into this. I'm going to be listening to this one. Roll number nine is seven. It is not our last roll because I have landed on pink more than two times and so the challenge for this one is part of a series. Roll number nine was another pink and the challenge is part of a series and for this one I'm choosing Undercover Princess by Connie Glynn and I'm pretty sure this is about two girls, one of them is princess and one of them is not and it's set in a boarding school if I'm not mistaken, I might be wrong and they kind of switch places I think and again I'm gonna be listening to this one. Roll number ten. It's a double four. Uh, uh, it's a five star prediction. Roll number 10 was another double, which brings us to 11 rolls now. This game just hates me so much. And I stepped on pink again. And the challenge was five star prediction. And for this one, I'm choosing Fat Chance Charlie Vega by Kristen Maldonado. I haven't included this in my, I didn't include this in my five star predictions video because back then at the beginning of the year, I didn't think this would be five stars for me. But now more that I think about it, the more I realize that this might be five star for me, especially considering how many people just love this book. So I don't know anything about this. All I know is that it's a body positive character and like a really strong female character. And that's all I need to know this time because like 10 books is a lot. And now let's hope that roll 11 is our last roll because otherwise I'm gonna die. So yeah, let's get into roll number 11. Roll number 11. is our final roll. It's a five. It's a middle grade and the challenge is hyped book. Roll number 11. I cannot believe we've had so many rolls this month. This game, this game, it just hates me so much. But I stepped on green this time. Thank goodness it wasn't red or pink because I couldn't do this anymore. But the challenge was hype book. And for this one, I am choosing Wonder by R.G. Palacio. I read this four years ago, maybe five years ago. I don't know, but I absolutely love this one. It's about a guy named August. And basically he has this sickness where he doesn't really have a face. And now he's going into public school and public middle school. It's just crazy. And he's dealing with a lot of bullying, but at the same time, he finds friends there. And it's just a very beautiful and heartbreaking book. And I'm excited to be rereading this in June. So there you have it. Those are all of the books that I'm going to be reading in June. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Have you read any of these books? Comment down below. Tell me what did you think of any of them. Do you want to read any of them? Do you want to hear my thoughts on any of them? And yeah, don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I will see you very soon. Bye!